Hi crocheteers, today I'm going to show you how to make the ladybird applique and this appears on my uh, baby to dod toddler ladybird jacket uh, cardigan, sorry on this um, and this is it here so um, what you'll need today for this is some black cotton yarn this is Elise cotton gold and some red cotton yarn this is Kartopu Organica colour code K150 you'll need a two and a half millimetre hook a pair of scissors and a yarn needle okay so to start you just need to make a magic ring or magic circle plenty of demonstrations on YouTube how to do this this is how I make one And into your magic circle you need to put um, four half double crochets. And then you just need to slip stitch into the ring pull up a really long loop. <coughs> the reason why is we're going to be making the um, head side with this. So pull up a long loop, cut your yarn so now um, you'll have your four half double crochets and your long piece of yarn and what you need to do is just close the ring a little bit like that okay so next we're going to put in uh, the body which is with the red yarn and you need to make a slip stitch sorry a slip knot not a slip stitch slip knot and uh, you're going to in this ring chain two be a lot of uh, threads about at this point okay so chain two so this is what you've got now so you've got the um, the half double crochet to your left and you're starting with a uh, two chains uh, to your right and yarn over and put that two chain start ch counts as one double crochet so you need to put 11 more double crochets into the ring Okay, so in total you've got 12 double crochets in uh, in that ring. Just need to close the, um, the ring now. Okay, and uh, in that last bit, just get some more yarn. Okay, so finally, um, when you've done that, you need to um, put one single crochet in here. and that will just round it off nice at the end okay so 
So what you're going to have is you're going to have the tail from when you started the 12 double crochets. You're going to have the tail from the ring itself which you can pull tight and then you're going to have a long tail uh, from when we finished the um, abdomen. So pull that tight as well. Alright so pull up a loop once you finish that. So big, and uh, cut your yarn, but cut the tail side. And then I'm going to just thread this uh, tail through the loop to finish off. Okay, so what you should have now is something that looks like that. Lots of tails everywhere. So we're going to get rid of some of these tails now. We're going to sew in uh, the red tails. just going to weave those back into the back of the um, stitches of the ladybird so these with the bumpy looking sides is the back side uh, and this side is the front side well it's the more straight Got kind of some little bumps here it's the back of the stitches Secure. I'm going to cut that one off and then I'm going to cut this one as well. So now we should just be left with two tails now. So this is the ring tail and this is the long tail from the um, half double crochets. Okay, um, so next what we want to do is we need to make the bottom now, The um, this is the abdomen, his bottom, and now we need to make the um, head. So what you're going to do is count six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, and in between those stitches there we're going to put the head. So just insert your hook there in between six and seven and uh, pull up a loop and this is from the long tail that you left from the um, half double crochets and chain one and in there we're going to put three single crochets one, two, three okay and then you need to pull up a loop and then just thread that back in through that loop, that tail Alright, and uh, now we're just going to sew, um, sew the body part, make it look like it's got a body, and uh, make the spots on the uh, wings. So thread your needle again, and I'm just going to go back down into these, um, the middle of these single crochets, just to bring that abdomen, uh, that head down a little bit and then I'm going to go into the middle of the stitches there and that creates the line for the body just pull that a bit tighter uh, that closes the body up a bit okay so you've got like a little line now and then I'm going to make um, the spots on his wings so I'm just going to secure that in there and sew a stitch in behind like that and now I'm going to make the spots so I'm going to put four spots in there so as even, evenly as I can 
and all you do is do a little stitch like that. That's one. That's two. That's three. And four. Okay, and then all that's left now is just to um, sew in the the tails at the back. And there you have it. There he is. All right, and all you do um, to sew it on is uh, get some red, red uh, cotton thread and just sew it to um, whichever garment you're making, or if it's for this, this one that I've made. All right, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.